Hey guys, you know I've been doing a lot of work on the practicals recently. From writing workbooks for you, to actually doing all the practicals and making the videos for you. So when the exam boards released them, inside reports, um, I read them really, really eagerly. And this is what the 2018 exams can tell us about the 2019 exams with relation to the practicals. I spent a really long time reading these reports, looking at the graphs, looking at the data, and the average student lost about 40 marks on practical questions. Now when you consider there's only 19, 20 marks between each grade, losing 40, 45 marks on just the practical questions alone is an astonishing amount. I mean that could be the difference between passing and not passing. That could be the difference between getting an okay GCSE grade and getting a really really good GCSE grade and you need that good GCSE grade if you want to go to a spectacular university. The required practicals make up a significant chunk of your exams, 15%, and that is enough to push you up those grade boundaries. The thing that really, really stood out to me from these examiner's reports is how different the exams are to the ones we've done in the past. So if you've been using past papers to revise from, using the old specification past papers isn't going to be enough. You need to have questions that are written specifically with the new exams in mind, taking on board everything the, the examiners have written, everything that the examiners have written that I've read, all about the new style of questions. And the one thing that really, really stood out to me in all this research that I've been doing is the examiners have said, and I quote, that learning the methods by rote will not allow students to access full marks in the exams. That means if you just learn the practicals, you won't be able to get all of the marks. I know, that that's how it used to be. You used to just be able to learn the practicals, write it down in the exam and get the marks. That's not happening anymore. Last year there was one exam people did really really well on, on a to the question and it literally was write the method for this. That's not going to happen anymore. It might happen in maybe one exam but it's not going to happen in every single exam. You need to be able to take all of the skills that you've learnt, what is wrong with this, how can I apply this to a new situation. You need to be able to take all the maths that are relating to the practical and apply it to a new situation. You need to be thinking about all the variables and how you can change it and how you can improve the experiments. And I know that time in class is pressured and I know that there isn't a lot of time out there for you to do this. So I'm trying to help you as much as I can guys with the questions that I've written you and the videos that I've made you. But the required practicals is one area that the examiner specifically pulled out as not being great in the exams last year. So it's probably the sort of thing that I'm really, really going to focus on the exams this year. 